probably shouldn't drive through that. It doesn't look too hard. He goes, no, we'll be right. I said, I'm not getting out to help you if we get stuck. No, no, we won't get stuck. Well, we got stuck. Max Tracks got us out and I think White let down some pressure in the tyres and I uh, had to dig a bit. Now I'm trying to look for the other Max Track. Oh, God. Alrighty, guys. So, update on the shock absorber situation for you. We rang around like crazy once we got back into service the other day and what was it? Bears, Bears Mechanical in Ryan's. Ryan, so just out of Mount Isa. Fit us in, gave them a call and they're like, yep, bring it in tomorrow morning, we'll sort you out. So, absolute legends. Being Mount Isa, I didn't think I'd have much choice in what I put in there, but I got Iron Man. So, how good? New Iron Man shocks in. It rides so much better now as well, so probably good indication the old ones are on their way out anyway. But yeah, pretty stoked. So now we've got Iron Man shocks in the back, Iron Man shocks in the front, and everything's running nice and smooth now. It's actually chilly this morning. We're wearing jumpers for the first time in months. I didn't it's think so weird. I didn't think we'd be putting it on the whole way back home. No, nah, it's not even that cold, but I think we're so used to it being so hot now. Yeah. So yeah. we've had a couple of crazy days, obviously, with telling everybody the good news. Um, so we've made our way from Mount Isa, and we're now just outside of Winton. So. Winton's basically the capital, the dinosaur capital of Australia. It's where a lot of the, around the area, where a lot of the artifacts were found. Um, well not artifacts, yeah. bones and yeah. all that sort of thing. So there's a really cool museum there. We're going to go have a check out this morning. We've got a 9.45 session. Yeah. So really um, nice. it's good. They've got little pens for the dogs. Mm. So they in the can, shade as well. Yeah, so they can really go in good. there while we go do the tour. So we'll go do that and then we're going to make our way to Long Reach. Now we have First swim in a while. I'm not in sync. Loki, get off of her! <laughs> so we're at a little watering hole just out of Winton. And this is probably the most extensive Aboriginal art we've seen. It's everywhere. All in here. It's really pretty. What's on the agenda today? Seeing some dinosaurs. <laughs> so we're at Winton. And this is basically the Australian hub of dinosaurs. So. It <laughs> Not quite the thing, but here we go. Because we're super unorganised. This one time. And it's school holidays and we forgot that as well. We couldn't do our little Qantas tour. Mm -hmm. So we've had to settle, they've got this night show sort of thing. They call it the Luminescence Tour. Yeah. Um, so they sort of show the history and project it on the side of a Boeing. So we're gonna have to settle for that, but it should still be cool. Should be. Definitely do that. 
I've heard this nothing so but good cool. things of it. It'll be cool to actually go inside the planes. But if not, for $25, mm -hmm. definitely just do this. Yeah, it was awesome. Very cool. What is it? The tree of knowledge or the wisdom? Tree of knowledge. That's so cool. Since when do you get art like this? In a out small, here. Yeah, small out there. In the middle of nowhere. So cool. So we've stopped in a little town called Tambori and we're actually having our first bakery lunch of the whole trip. Yeah, we didn't get a whole lot of choice when it came to the pies because it's no. like 11 o'clock and they're almost sold out already. Yeah, but yeah, yeah first pies. What'd you get? Steak. Steak and pepper. And I got bacon cheese. Radio. Just set up at our free riverside camp. We're a bit back from the river. The river. That's because the doggies <laughs> always want to jump in there. Bit dirty, bit murky, but that seems pretty standard out here. I will not be swimming. I don't think anyone will be. And a boy. I got my knickers out. My knickers, your knickers. Good stuff. Thank you. The good thing about being here is because it's so hot, your washing dries within like an hour. So the radar said one to five mil of rain starting sort of oh, mid-morning-ish. We thought we'd be all right here, but we are not all right. <laughs> I don't think we've got much chance at all. <laughs> We're going to attempt to get out. Uh, if we get stuck, well, we'll just stay put for a few days where we're stuck, but um, wish us luck. Stay tuned to watch the show. washed some of the mud off. Oh my god, there's so much in there. <laughs> Bit caked on. Need a car wash. So, Bilby experience was amazing. 
Oh, we didn't even tell them we were going to do it. Did no, we? we didn't tell you. Well, we didn't know if we would get there this morning <laughs> because of our mud issues. And then we had to try and get the mud off of us or off of our feet and everything. Still wearing dirty clothes, but we were pushed to make it there by 9am. So, yeah. We, we got there with about four minutes to spare. Yeah. We did the Bilby tour, which was amazing. Got to hear a bit about um, the fun, the Bilby fund, how it all started. Then we got to see three little Bilbies. They were so cute. Including a baby Joey. Yeah. Who's, I think, three, one month out of pouch, which makes him about four months old. Yeah. So if you're out this way, definitely come through yeah. and do it. You learn some really vital information. Um, if and not, yeah, your admission, which it was $44 for both of us, that goes straight to the fund for helping the bilbies. Yeah, and if not, just be ceased to make sure you buy the Darley bilbies. Yeah, 30 cents from every bilby sold. 50 cents. Oh, I thought I said 30. 50 cents from every chocolate bilby sold goes to the fund to help. And to top it off, they had the first driver reviver that was open that we found on this trip. We've been through so many of these things and you always yeah. get the signs, it's like free coffee, driver reviver, yeah. and you get there, and there's no one there. Nah. So this is the first Never one. Never had one open in any state. And this is the first one, free yeah. coffee. I mean, it's school holidays, which is good. Yeah, but true. Yeah, good news day so far. Yeah, and it's only what, 10 o'clock? Probably, yeah, see what else there is to do around town and then find a non-muddy campsite for tonight. I've got to give the dogs breakfast. I haven't had breakfast yeah. yet. It's more of a brunch. Brunch, do you want brunch? behind the wheel. It's the next camp. This is much nicer than the one we were at this morning. Look at it. Dry. So much better. Loki dug a big hole there today. But yeah, so much better. But so many flies. Put it, show them, Akila. Look at them all hanging around her. The bin. It's because she stinks. <laughs> this is actually better. We put the awning walls up because we yeah. know, we figured they don't we like th the shade. We think we've cracked the code, so yeah, obviously we're not stupid. We know they don't like shade but this is helped with the walls so up much. it helps so much like we're not getting attacked it's just the it little gremlins <laughs> why are you so dramatic got the fire going two very tuckered out dogs after a little walk and a ball full play session okay. Bit of garlic. Yeah, whereas those people that garlic like leaks out of our skin though. Yeah. Like, always I get bad garlic breath. Garlic and chili. Except you complain about the chili all the time. Well, yeah, if it's too hot. But we're doing curry tonight on the fire. A vegetarian red lentil and chickpea curry because it's 27 degrees today. So probably one of the coolest days I've had in a while. And um, stuff's getting heaps more expensive out here as well. Yeah, exactly. So, especially meat. So. Our weekly shop was like 70 bucks this week because the shops, A, had nothing, and B, the meat was too expensive. So, working with what we got, we'll show you the finished product. Oh, look at the flies. We might be vegetarian for the next couple of weeks, I reckon. Might be eating this some, might be good might for be us. Eating some bloody flies, no though. No beers and vegetarian. I don't know if we've told you guys that yet. We have two beers left, one each. Yep, which we're having gonna be Friday. For Friday. Um, and after that, no more beers until we get home if we can. So about three weeks we can. <laughs> I've got to that fire going in your yeah. mouth. We will. We, we should be. Up we there. will. It's three weeks. So we change people by the time we get home. Who knows? Put on my beach pod back. Uh, let's have a look how we're looking. Look how we're looking. Should be looking good. Should be. Oh, yum. Oh, okay, it is looking good. Maybe some flour sticking up a bit. Yeah, maybe sticking up a little bit, but yum. It smells mm -hmm. good. Yum. Rice is almost ready. Rice is almost ready with a few floaties in it. Oh, we, ew, don't. We are feasting. Yummy. Yep, that's heaps. Came out all right. Looks good. 
tastes good, I reckon. We'll find out. Good. Not enough chilli, though. There's more chilli. Well, add some to yours. And we add some flour pretty late to it. <laughs> Thicken uh, it up a little bit. <laughs> it's gone a little bit clumpy. That's all right. It'll be yummy. Just think of it as lentils. True. You've got to drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Got jackets on again this morning. Hello. It's chilly. And we've just masked the flies with some fly spray yep. because they weren't listening to the aero guard. So they were all over the pop top up there and all over the awning. So hopefully I sent a message to their little buddies. Don't mess with us. Mm -hmm. 